What a pleasure it is to have you here again in Austria. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to the wonderful city of Raptoria. It is the year 1729, and money is coming in, as well as the people to live in our great city. It's actually September, so a big harvest is taking place, almost finishing up here as everyone's getting done to uh, bring things in for the winter. So let's go ahead and make sure we don't prioritize gathering so everything can be harvested and then planted for the next year. And let's take a look at this city. It has definitely grown from our initial few homes that we had over here. Uh, we just, you know, start with a handful of people, and now we're up to a very good number of people. 207 people, uh, to be precise. Quite a great number of people coming in. So I think what we're going to do here today is try to continue our construction of this wonderful city and finish everything up that we can, especially around these uh, little parts here. We've got our... Uh, of course, our shoemaker workshop, slaughterhouse, tannery, and a few other things to be completed. So that way we can start getting cattle and getting some animals in. It's been a real cool run getting all the farms and things ready. We focused on that when we've got tons of fish coming in. So now it is time, whenever we can, uh, get some animals. Now, a lot of people are always asking, how come you don't have animals? Get animals when you're getting animals. Of course, everybody who has been watching should know that that always comes in via trade. That's the only real way to start getting animals anyway. Unfortunately, we can't go out into the woods and find a cow and bring it back and start domesticating it. No, it must be traded for. So it's all on the luck of the draw when it comes to going to the world map and having somebody specifically trade with us when we're available, uh, or rather when that animal is available. So let's send out a couple of messengers. Let's find ourselves some chickens today and see if we can get them going. Also, I noticed that the developer did say that there's going to be a neat new update coming very soon. I'll have to check and see when that version is available, where the windmill can then be controlled to be on or off based on how much flour that you want in the economy. So for example, if you uh, only want them to make 10 flour for the year and they uh, finish that up around November or something like that, and you want all the rest of the uh, wheat and grain and such to go towards the animals, then there should be a way to set that. So that's a neat new feature coming, as well as uh, apparently he addressed the uh, crashes for any time that a c citizen dies. Sometimes the game seems to uh, go kaput, and that is bad sometimes, but that's okay. So the developer, just one person working on this, and that makes it all the better, because sometimes they listen a little bit more. It just takes a little longer for the uh, problems to be solved. So anyway, speaking of problems, our city has plenty of those. We're going to speed up time then to try to remedy some of our uh, housing solutions, get some more people here, and then do some more farming. Look at all those. Ooh, ooh, I heard something. Oh, I heard I heard somebody coming into town. I heard a little wagon. All right. Well, look at all that. All that crop is going to have to be harvested now. Plenty of hay now for the animals. I think I want to get another chicken coop, too. We certainly need to have a lot more. Oh, and good. Messengers are starting to arrive. Let's see. Uh, what do we have here? Ah, cows, chickens... Or uh, chicken eggs, rather. Cows, pigs, iron, buckwheat. Uh, I, want, I want to start with some... Uh, I really want to start with some chickens before we go anywhere else. I'm going to make sure we do that. Oh, looks like somebody died there. Okay, well, there you go. F's down below in the comment section, please. All right, let's take a look and uh, see what we've got for iron. Need to check our uh, reserves. Let's see, 4.5. I'm going to probably buy another 5 iron. It's not a bad idea to continuously buy that, especially since the city's been growing like crazy. So let's start with five. There we go. That's a deal. And then the other two messengers are on their way. Okay, so buckwheat is another thing they sell. Cows and... I just... I don't think pigs are really worth it. You can have a few pigs and uh, continue to slaughter a couple of year by year, but it really doesn't... Unless you have multiple farms, they take up a lot, a lot of wheat. So you need, like, a farm just dedicated to the pigs. But cows would be good since we'll eventually need them for the tannery. So that might be a good thing to think about getting. So let's take a look here. Our cow shed is done. Good. Uh, no livestock. We actually don't have a uh, field for them, but I should tell them to use follow fields if available. I also should just make a specific pasture for them if we don't have uh, one ready for the year. Um, and I think we could probably tuck that in over here maybe just to give them some, uh, some space to eat it if we have all of our crops going. Though I think they'll never use it. They probably will never end up having to have to go to one of these fields. Oh, that's right. We've got to uh, stay away from the hay bale just a little bit. Or the uh, hay dryer. There we go. Perfect. So now we've got a field for pasture just in case. I wish we could have used that for another farm, but we'll build another one over here to take this section. And then probably one more to take that section, so it'll be good. All right, let's try to get some cows then for once. And we should have people working at the cow shed now. Uh, yes, we do. They'll just need to get water, which is there, and hay, which is there too. So there's our well and our hay barrack. 
Excellent. Oh, and another building going up. I believe that's the slaughterhouse being constructed. Good job, boys. All right, let's take a look. Any other messengers? Oh, they're still on their way. Okay, well, speaking of which, let's go back to that screen and buy ourselves... Um, let's see. Let's buy three cows to begin with. Now, let's let four is good. And actually a bull. We'll get a bull, too. So that way we can also do some animal husbandry. Do they not cost anything? Oh, they do. Okay, so that'll be two hundo and two animals. We'll probably slip into debt a little bit before the winter, but that's okay. We'll eventually start trading with the other um, nations that we discover here. What do we have for trade, by the way? Oh, only four sunflower oil. Uh-oh. Light year for sunflowers. Oh, but lots of hemp. Good, we can make clothes. All right, looks like another messenger has arrived. Hopefully somebody requires clothes. Ooh, we still have a limited number of that. i got to make some more uh, weavers workshops. We've got a lot of hemp sitting over there. Should probably hire some people here to bring over the hemp. Oh, we already did. 50. Get to work, ladies. Come on now, bring it over. Okay, let's go to the other uh, sp uh, positions. What is it? This one. Uh, you offer lime and salt, and you want wheat and shoes. Hmm. Well, lime and salt would be good to have for tanning. Let's take a look at what we've got in storage. 30 limes, so we don't really need much more. Salt always seems to disappear because we're drying fish. I'm, I'm just going to buy a ton of that. Damn the cost. Let's just get her done. All right, we'll buy 20 salt. Okay, and let's see what else we can do. Oh, trader is not quite there yet. He's just about there. Speed up time a little bit more. So this year we certainly have a lot of uh, textiles ready, or at least a lot of hemp for textiles, so that's good. Ah, there we are, live chickens. Fantastic. Let's order 20 of those. Nobody wants sunflower oil this year, so that's unfortunate. Oh, that's really good, though. 20 wheat plus another 15 wheat, plus there's tons out there still. That is excellent. That is a big plus for us. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, take a look at what they're producing over here at the windmill. How do we do on flour? Flour is at 0 out of 50. They're gobbling that up quite quick. Then again, we I don't think we... This is our first time having flour for this year. I don't think we had it in the previous years. All right, construction will continue, so we will see chickens come in. Let's make sure we've got people at the coop. Excellent. Let's make sure we got people at the cow shed. Excellent. They have water. Yes. Food. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Really good for us. Let's take a look at this nutrients on this field. Yeah, this field is dead. It is... Uh, we're going to have to use follow for this year. That is going to have to switch over. Let's see. This field will be... Oh, that's perfect. This will be perfect. This one, oh, it's going to have to switch to follow. There's no nutrients there whatsoever. We'll have to optimize these a little bit more. I'm a little less interested in optimizing the farming. Oh, good. That next year will be sunflower then. Potatoes here next will be great. Ooh, sunflowers. That'll take up the rest of that. Perfect. We need to do another farm just for, uh, just for sunflowers, to be honest. So let's go ahead and get ready with that. We'll have to have our cash farm, cash crop farm. It's always good to have multiple farms. Oh, this is going to be a long walk. Hmm. Let's put a farm over here. That should be good. Let's see if we can check that out from the top. Just scoot it over a little. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that'll allow us to uh, do sunflowers. So these um, two farms, then we're going to try to try to prioritize with buckwheat um, and wheat and potatoes. And then the other farm that we just built, we'll try to do sunflowers and hemp on, try to switch and do follow fields. We might have to have two and two just to make it work. And that there is the tannery going up now. Excellent. I'm glad we have plenty of building materials. We will have no problem building remaining homes. In fact, I think there's only two homes left that we have spots for. And uh, we could actually build some more homes here. I have a logging camp that's dedicated to clearing out these trees. Unfortunately, they've got uh, really nothing else to do because they're all full up. I wish it was easier to clear trees, though. It'd be nice, like, in foundation if I could just say, hey, loggers, cut these areas down, you know, and just, like, spray paint where I wanted them to cut rather than designating each individual tree, which can be just a little, just a little lengthy. All right. So let's see, that is going to be a cart parking warehouse, and then we'll put a fence around that. And little open area here. Won't hurt anybody. Glad we got the uh, charcoal pits going. Multiple charcoal pits bringing in some good, good charcoal. 
And it is November. Wow, how'd you squeeze through there, sir? Ah, there's our chickens. Yay! Awesome. Now, apparently, everyone was telling me that chickens are the uh, choice, by the way. So I think what we should do is build a few more chicken coops and uh, try to start selling more and more chicken eggs. Apparently, they're very easy to take care of. So in the future, let's go ahead and get ready for some additional chicken coops. I don't know about pig styes yet. I don't know about pigs. I don't know how I feel about them yet. Because they, they do certainly produce a lot of meat. But it's, you know, with a certain population, they certainly go through it quite quickly. It's good for diversity, though, on your uh, on your diet. Certainly a good thing to have. Let's do another chicken coop here. There we go. All right, we'll try three chicken coops and see if we can uh, make that into our big money area. And start selling some chicken eggs now. Since we have plenty of wheat, how much wheat's coming in next year? Next year is going to be a big sunflower year, big potato year. I don't think we have any. We better do wheat there next year. That'll be fine. Lots of sunflowers next year. That's good. We certainly do have to have another crop of wheat. Potatoes again, and let's try... How much do potatoes suck up? Let's do uh, wheat again the next year after that. Okay, looking good. Now we'll just let things be built whenever. We're going into debt again, of course, after our big purchases of animals. That's usually something that really leads you in, which is totally fine. We will be zipping out of that again as soon as we get a sunflower trade next year. In fact, we've got plenty of materials to trade. Oh, look at how quickly that salt goes. We bought 20. We're down to 7, especially since we're drying fish. That's incredible, the amount of uh, salt that they use. The tannery will also use uh, salt, but we have yet to get to that uh, that area. Oh, this is the slaughterhouse here, and this is the shoemaker's workshop. Okay, so it's two different buildings. They almost look like they're one. And then the uh, next warehouse going up, then a cart parking, and two more buildings. And that should be it for our construction of the neighborhood. And then everything else should flow over here to the uh, chicken coops and such. All right, probably a food problem there because they're low on cash. There you go. I'll, give, I'll throw people a few coins who are low on cash who don't have food, but that's about it. A lot of these are just due to unemployment, which is at uh, 25 right now. And that happens in the winter with really nothing else to do. A lot of these manufacturing jobs don't require a lot of people at all. As you've seen, carpentry, two, smithy, two. Logging camps are really the biggest job in the town, but I've even got them clearing out here so we can build additional homes. Might be a good idea. See if we can build another house here. Oh yeah, that certainly seems to be a good idea. Right there might be good. Actually, we could probably just build it up against the fence, couldn't we? Like right there? Just another little house there like that? Certainly could do that. We'll figure that out later. Don't need any additional people at the moment with two more families about to move in. And with 25 unemployment, we don't need the additional homes. We can also turn off immigration, too, to have the homes built, but not anybody moving in them yet. But we don't have to do that. We've got plenty of materials and build teams to work on that stuff. All right, looks like our... I think that's a... Oh, that's another village house. Oh, okay, so there's actually four more homes going up. And then... I think that's it for that area. We should probably put something here. Let's see if we can fence this area off and make like a nice little park area or something. Alright, let's see. We could actually fence this entire area in and put trees in there, but if we do that, they won't be able to... You have to do it after you plant the trees. But well, we can turn it into a little triangular park. There we go. Yeah, you see the folks have to actually walk in there to plant the tree. It's kind of cool. Okay, one more home completed. Three more to go. So one, two, three up there, and then the rest are chicken coops. And oh, oh boy, look at those chicken eggs coming in. We better start selling that in town. Let's go, baby. Start selling some chicken eggs. All right, let's go ahead and change from... Uh, we're also selling a lot of clothes to town, too. Let's start changing flour to eggs. There we go. Very good staple. And let's change one of these from potato to eggs as well. We'll do two here. There we go. We'll also, we'll uh, be able to start selling milk. Where's our cow shed? <gasps> Perfect. We got all the cows ready. 
Excellent. And I don't think... Oh, we're promote. We're pro providing a little bit of milk. I was going to say, we're going to have to promote milk. Yeah, got milk? All right, let's do that. What do we have here? Flour, sun... A lot of sunflower oil. Let's go with milk here. One of the, I think that one had sunflower oil. One of them did. That one. Okay, so we're selling a variety of goods now to our, our fine folks. And let's switch one of these to... I'll switch you to sunflower oil. Sunflower oil and milk. Just make sure somebody's... Yep, selling dried fish. Okay, we're good. All right, well, money's not too bad. That 700 that we're in, mm, that's going to be easy. As soon as we get that sunflower crop the next year, man, we can make like 2,000 off that. I have full confidence in that. That is awesome. But that's what happens every time you buy animals. Luckily, this time... I know exactly how to take care of them, and the chickens are, like, making eggs like crazy. Uh, let's see. So, livestock limit is 30. Hatchling limit is 10. We could do a culling and, like, cut back on the chickens, but currently we're at 20, so we need to get 10 more grown chickens here. It's, it's good to start with a good number of them, then you get eggs right away. So, I think what can happen is when you get too many chickens, like, if we set the livestock limit to 30, like it is now, and then we get to 31, I think the next chicken transports itself there automatically, so long as there's food and somebody to bring it there. I think that's how it works. I hope so. And I think it's the same with, for example, the cow shed. If you can hold 20 cows. That's a lot of cows, by the way, for this cow shed. That is a lot of animals that could fit in there. They are very generous with the, the size of that building versus how many cattle it can hold. Uh, they're more like sardines rather than cattle, the way they're packed in there. All right, one more home being created there. We're up to 219 people with the unemployment at 30. Not bad. The spring will be good for all the extra helping hands that we have. And uh, unfortunately, that will probably won't help us much with wages. But and what's your problem here? Not enough money. There you go. Buy, buy some food. Come on now. We just need to get some more jobs. Unfortunately, it's a little difficult to find any sort of labor-intensive job except for uh, farming. That's the only real... Um, Really, the only the job that we can have that has a lot of jobs to it. Oh, looks like a boat needs maintenance. You're just going to have to bring it over to the boatyard. Should be within range. They had to build it, so I hope they can make it over there. How are we doing on uh, fish, anyway? 0 0.29, 0.44. Doesn't seem to be a thing a lot of people are buying. Uh, externally. Well, it might be a good idea to have another fishing dock for the year. So let's go and build one of those. Another, Yet another dock. I don't mind that. Okay. So what kind of businesses don't we have? Well, we have all of our fishing docks now, or our little water docks. We have platforms. We have homes. Shoemaker is up. That whole facility there is complete. Carpentry, clay pit. Yeah, we've got all that. Warehouse trading po Yep, we got all that. The only thing we really haven't built is a bridge yet. And I really don't think we need to build one here just to get around the uh, <laughs> the little inlet there. I think we want to start building this way. So I could do another forestry building. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything with the wood. I, I am not able to sell it or anything. We could try to like make giant, like a giant charcoal facility and hopefully get lucky with one year that somebody's buying charcoal. But it's very rare. But man, you could have a lot of material ready. So let's try to get through this winter and we'll uh, decorate in the meantime. Let's put a fence here. Uh, let's see. Should be able to connect here. I don't know why it's... I guess that's not a corner. There we go. That's fine. Okay, that looks great. Put a couple of trees down. Here comes spring. Spring has sprung. And now that means everybody's going to spring into action for planting all of the wonderful crops that we have for the year. There we go. Looks a little nice. All right, we still have some space here. I don't know what we're going to do with that. I'll figure something out eventually. You can tell how reliant we are on oil with our uh, giant oil workshop facility out front. Okay, fallow. That's good year for that. Potato here. Sunflower there. Sunflower here. Good. Wheat for the chickens. Another sunflower seed field. Another one. Oh, wow. And another farm going up too. Uh, unemployed right now is zero because it's a big, big planting and harvest season so that 
pr pretty much our winters and summers are going to be dead dead times a year. Come on, folks, get some jobs now. Good, and then hopefully we get a nice big trade from our neighbors. Unfortunately, we didn't have much to sell that year. Hmm, good, five sunflower oil sitting there. Excellent. All right, another farm completed. Uh, let's slow this down so we might be able to get some planting going. Uh, let's see, add a field. We'll have to do plowing, too. We'll have to create some ox. Remind remind me, we got to create some oxen now. And that way we'll be able to uh, work on our plowing. We'll do that next year after we have a more sustainable... As soon as I've proven that I can do it. Currently. There we go. Not a perfect square, but perfect for these times. Let's go with more sunflower oil. And let's make sure we hire, hire, hire. Good. Okay. I wonder if we can stick a field onto the back here. Just fine. It's going to have to be uh, sunflowers. And why does this have an exclamation point? Field is not activated. Okay. I forgot we had to turn them on. Feels like forever since I built these uh, farm fields. I forgot exactly how they function. Okay, that's not too far of a walk for them. Uh, we'll try to use the rest of this space since it's clear cut. It's going to be useful to utilize all the space that we can. Maybe we can build one ho over here in the corner. That's a real big space. Let's not use that much space. Ah, oh, the music is so nice. There we go. Looks like some trees will have to be cut down, too. And I think that actually tells the loggers to come over here. So I think they'll end up coming over. And we'll do another field. Oh, also we need... To, oh, that needs to be built first. It needs to be cut down. Cleared out. And we'll build yet another sunflower seed field. Again, we'll switch between hemp and sunflower. We'll get the crop rotation working after the first couple of years. That'll be just fine. Well, that's a good field, too. All right. Good. I'm glad we're using all that space. We should be able to build yet another farm and do even more wheat this year. I don't ever want to have a shortage of anything. Not just wheat, but maybe, uh, for example, we could do some more... Oh, this actually looks almost like a chicken coop. Look at how similar the buildings kind of look. Quiet, you. All right. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do, uh, like, potatoes. We'll mix up all the crops. We'll need a lot of extra crops for all the uh, other things we plan to grow. All right, so that farm is there. We'll probably do one field, two, three. I think we'll do one, two, three, four. We might be able to fit them here. And then we'll do some more farming over there. So our farms are going to be huge. Pepperidge is going to be jealous. That's right. Damn right. All right, let's speed up time. Okay. Oh, and there's all the cattle. Excellent. Having a nice year of... Uh, oh, good. Look at that. They're using it as a pasture. I probably didn't even need to make that as a, as a field. But that's fine. It's probably good to have one follow field just in case. And our hay dryer is there. And how are we doing on the hay? Perfect. Look at that. Three full ready to go. And plus that one was about down half for the five cows. So we should be good for the entire year. Wouldn't have to worry about that too much. All right. Another chicken coop going up. And looks like the trees are being cut out of there. Ah, here we go. Very good. Looking for jobs. Still three. Nice. All right. No housing available. Good. We don't want to grow for the time being. Now we want to start focusing on the economy. So now that we've got plenty of people to help out farming, we're going to make sure that we have full-time staff at every building in order to uh, move things around, get things built, that kind of thing. Oh, and it looks like a messenger is visiting. Hello. Uh, only wheat and shoes. Salt pigs. Uh, shoes always seem to be something that they want. And unfortunately, we don't have any cattle ready to go. How are we doing on... Uh, oh, look at that. We have a new cow born. Excellent. Um, two years old. If we slaughter that one, we'll still need about ten hides in order to get that done. So let's wait until we have more more and more cows. Plus, the more we wait, the more milk we'll have. So that'll be good. But eventually, we'll be able to make all those uh, wonderful shoes that we plan to make. So that's going to be good. Let's put some benches down. One there is good. 
Uh, one here would be fine. Ah, and the chicken coop, yet another one is complete. Wow, look at the people. You build a new bench in town, and it's like in the newspapers. They're like, come on and check out the new bench down at the old slaughterhouse. That's right, it's flat, it's got back support, and you can sit down. Amazing. Everybody's marveling at the technology. We might need to hold a World's Fair soon. Take that, Anna. Okay, all good. So now we can be able to have more chickens. How many chickens do we have here? 20. Did they not have no rooster? Do you have to buy more? Well, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. We're taking all the eggs, but... Hmm, maybe we have to... Chicken zero... Oh, wait a minute. Hatchlings. Oh. Ah, I see. We can... Re this is how we relocate. That's the button to do it. It's not automatic. You just have to ask for it to be done. Got it. So if, for example, we want to take hatchlings over here, we can do that. Let's hire some workers to get some stuff here. And we'll have them get all the supply ready. So chickens are going to be big. Apparently chicken eggs, if, if sold correctly. What we really want to do in this game is make sure we have a variety of goods to sell. So that way when, on the rare occasion, it's a really a lot of RNG. On the rare occasion that a messenger comes or that we send one out. And on the rare occasion that they require an item that we have plenty of. And on the rare occasion that it's enough to actually make a difference in the economy. Then we're good to go. But again, I don't mind going into debt. This is nothing to be worried about, considering the fact that we have so many goods, including sunflower oil, this next year to sell. We're going to have so much. Right now we have five, but with the amount of fields that are there that have sunflowers, this is going to be a big year. It's going to be a big, big year. Big, big, big. Oh, I uh, didn't activate you. That's fine. Oh, wow, they can actually still plant. Good job. All right, that's the four for this one. Not to mention the sunflower fields here, too. These sunflowers take up an incredible amount of uh, nutrients. I think we could do hemp the year after this and still get away with it. This will try to, We'll try to make this our cash crop area. And we'll try to get wheat just to get some more storage for the animals. How many years of wheat could we do? We could almost do two... No, no, no. We'd have to do a year of follow after that. That's okay. More areas for the cattle to go in rain. I don't mind that little field there for the cattle. That's okay. I don't mind that. Wow, this is going to be... He Look at all that farm that we could extend to. Oh, actually, this is the edge of the map here, so we'll only be able to build up to this area with farming. So we can just continue to build along the coast. So by the time we're done here, we will probably have a village that cuts through this forest and eliminates that forest as well with the amount of materials we're probably going to need. I would imagine that the, the old uh, lumber mills that they're uh, probably out of work now. They're, there's not much more for them to do unless we're building more... Or making charcoal. I would like to make an area just for charcoal so we could get that done for trade. That might be a good thing to do. So I could probably make a charcoal pit somewhere. Maybe I could open up a barbecue, too. What do you guys think about barbecue? Oh, oh, good. Yeah. We could forget about the town and just start selling barbecue chicken and everything like that. All right, I'd like to make some more uh, charcoals, then. Charcoal kilns. So I don't want to kept keep them anywhere here. Uh, maybe, maybe along here. That would be a good spot. So we can make some additional charcoal and try to sell it. Ra crazy, crazy raptor scheme in order to try to get more money. There are rare occasions that they do uh, buy charcoal, and I want to make sure we're ready for that. Plus, these literally cost like nothing to do. Perfect. Yeah, we have so much firewood sitting around. Why not? Look at that. Everybody's getting to work. Excellent. So, I'm, I, yeah, better better not hear this message again. Not enough charcoal with 47 sitting there. <laughs> Good. And then how much do we have at the... Uh... Oh, we already have 100 sitting here, so let's make this like 250. Perfect. All right, so Crazy Dino Man is making a scheme now to get uh, more of that going. Good. Fishing dock is done. According to this, so let's get some more fishing boats. That'll keep the uh, boat builders busy. Alright, so yes, cr big, big Odette. But to be honest, I don't mind. I honestly don't mind. You guys have seen us pull out of it before by having certain things like sunflower oil available. And we'll probably get lucky with a big trade. And we, we will probably come out like 2,000 ahead. And hopefully this is the last time that we really dip under because we bought cows and chickens. Oh, good, we have 30. All right, let's relocate. Uh, let's relocate ten and fifteen to a different field. 
Uh, click on another chicken coop to relocate. Boom. Relocating. Let's see what happens. Oh, cool. Somebody actually carries a cage over full of chickens. That's awesome. Very nice. Hatchling limits. Let's do 10. So we can essentially just keep filling these up. Awesome. Alright, we'll have another uh, farm done soon. Good. Oh, this is going to be big. Yeah, you got to spend money to make money. That's how it all works. we got a messenger in town now. <laughs> only demands sunflower and only offers hemp. Well, come on now. How am I expected to make money if nobody's buying anything? That's yeah, all good. We are just fine. Probably have these people complaining. What? You don't have a variety of food, ma'am? We do have quite a few uh, people in town, so... I think we could probably use some more shops now at this point. Sell some more stuff. Although we could build it closer to their homes, too. Could probably put a market over here. Yeah, let's put a market over here. Let's see if we can square this up. There we go. Let's build a marketplace here. Great, now we can build another home nearby. And that should be just fine. Let's see what we got for items now. Let's sell potato, flour, salt, and uh, milk. And let's sell fish, firewood, clothing, and chicken eggs. I will get that started with just a few. Oh, looks like there's a big... Big problem with food variety. No surprise, we've got a lot of people in town now. Some of these people just don't have money, I think, to buy food. Yep. Okay, so food is going to be a little scarce this year. Family's moving out, that's alright. We've got plenty coming in. Oh, actually, got to get these people to work now. Alright, seven looking for jobs, good. More of that economy being fulfilled. Excellent. Well, we got plenty of homes. We just need the food now. So this next year will be just fine for that. Actually, let's do this. I got a way to solve that. Let's go ahead and start selling some chickens. All we got to do is cut back on our uh, chickens a little bit. Let's do 30 hatchling limits. And we'll cut this down to 10 each. There we go. Put a little uh, little bit of chicken back into the economy. There we go. Okay, what are we selling over here? Buckwheat, food. Oh, uh, we should probably sell some chicken here. There we go. Alright, yeah, yeah. The mass migration. But look at that, it is almost harvest season, so food will be here. And we could probably get some beef sold too. What do we got for cows yet? Eight? Very nice. Eight, seven, six, five. Let's cut it down to five again. Slaughterhouse will be busy. Get a couple of people to work there. Nobody's looking for work now, okay. I guess we're thinning the herd of the population, too, as we kind of got a little short on food this year. Oh, there we go. Plenty of chicken eggs, plenty of meat. Good. They'll come back as soon as the food is back, too. How much flour are we making? Oh, yeah, there you go. People are coming right back in. There you go. See Sometimes people just can't cut it. <laughs> they want a day without a uh, little bit of bread. I understand. It makes sense. But they're right back in the slot. Okay, the next year is... Okay, so this next year is going to be perfect for the economy. We will have so much sunflower oil, it'll be perfect. And we've got a lot of families moving out, but moving back in. And it looks like the crops are looking good for the year. Alright, we, we, don't, we don't need anybody working here. Not yet, anyway. Alright. 
So for 200 down to 185, not not that big of a deal. We've suffered worse. But people are moving right back in. All right, and harvest season should have begun. So let's make sure we shut down the f let's shut down the fisheries for now. Fishing docks, get all that crop harvested. Shutting everything down, boys. Shutting it all down. Let's get rid of the uh, extra builders. Don't think we're even building anything now. There we go. Well, it seems like every time somebody moved out, someone resettled anyway. So a lot of the uh, food problems will be solved here after this next harvest. Dino Man got greedy with the uh, sunflowers, but you can't blame me. <laughs> I want to get that money. This should be good. All right, what do we got for chickens now? All right, so now we can boost that back up. So 30 hatchlings and 30 uh, regular chickens. And look at all the chicken eggs here. My goodness. It's like 45 sitting there. Good. That's plenty to sell when the uh, marketplace goes and grabs them. Actually, should have the granary grab those now. Let's make sure we have all the chicken eggs in town. Uh, that's dried fish. And let's replace sunflower instead of... Oh, I, th I think I was selling that as a food, but let's go... F forget about the sunflower. Let's get chicken meat now and have 50 of that in storage, too. Good. Well, well, look at that. Not too much of a problem. And back up to 200. <gasps> oh, my goodness. It's, it's as if I was learning. Don't mind it. Those people probably are like... They probably get a phone call. Hey, uh, he's got food again. You guys should come back. Like, okay, we're on our way. Da, 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 da. There we go. Cool. We'll have the cottonwood separate everything there. Nice. All right, how are we doing? So a little bit of a food variety problem still. Luckily, the harvest brought in some more uh, um, wheat for the year. More flour, to be precise, and probably a lot of wheat. 46 plus 8 potatoes. Excellent. And hopefully we have enough sunflower oil for a lifetime. Oh yeah, we're already up to 14. Good. And they haven't even brought all the sunflower seeds back. I think the last of it just got in there. So 10.7 plus 3 and then 0.96 and they haven't even brought all that in. They're still working on it. Any unemployment? Nope. Everybody's working. Good. Okay. Yep. Crazy dinosaur man might actually possibly maybe, if you think about it, might be doing okay. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, our population dipped. We're good. Ooh, and a visitor is here now. And they're buying sunflower oil. Baby, baby. You're talking to me. I hear you. 16.1. Let's just try to sell like, uh, I'm going to try to sell like as much as we can. Unfortunately, we had a year without sunflower seeds, so the timing is a little poor. But we will still be able to make something of this. So let's try to sell. I'm going to just opt for 40. So we demand, okay. So we're exporting two of those, 360 per, so that'll help out. Hopefully we get a lot more sunflower oil here. I want to make sure we don't put it anywhere else. Sunflower oil, let's just do three here. All right, let's see it come in, 19.1. So each one of those is $360 per 20. So if we get 40 of those... We should be down to like the 300, and then another year of that, we should be good too. And anything else they're selling? Yeah, we're good. I don't know. I wonder. I wish there was a way to get salt, to be honest, because it's very expensive to import that for tannery. You could make even more money in this game if you could produce your own salt and lime. So that way you could do all the tannery yourself at no upkeep, or minimal upkeep. That way you wouldn't have to continuously import. Alright, how are we doing, chickens? 10 and 10, 30 hatchlings. Looks like we got a lot of hatchlings, good. Let's continue to relocate some of those to the new ch chicken coop up here. So now we have three chicken farms that we're going to fully fulfill with chickens. They're going to be completely full. Uh-oh, we got an alert over here. I don't even see anybody working on this field. I guess I should put people back to work at the fishing docks. 
but I made sure that they were working solely on the uh, farming. There they go. Yeah, let's make sure we do all the farms, boys. Get those done. Look at all the extra people who came to help. Excellent. Okay, let's go back to the fishing docks. See if we can get a little bit more fishing done. And possibly some more dry fish. Ba, ba, ba. And one last thing to do is go back to the chicken coops and make sure that 30 hatchlings are transferred over here. Nope. There we go. So hatchlings times 15, relocate there. And 15, relocate here. Okay, so that means 30 hatchlings are there. Excellent. 30 hatchlings to 30 chickens. Perfect. So when we when each of these reaches 30, we can, we can cut them all down and get all the extra food out of it. But until then, it's going to be chicken eggs, chicken eggs, chicken eggs, chicken eggs. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, down to eight. I think the wagon arrived. Oh, look at that. We're down to just a thousand, so that's, that's not bad. We'll probably dip, but it's fine. We just need... Now all we need is supply here. So we've opted for 250 charcoal to be stored here. Let's, let's do 500 then. And that way, it, ooh, if any year anybody is buying charcoal, we are going to be the king. Do you hear me? We are going to receive so much money from charcoal... It, it is probably very rare that they will buy that. But if we have that ready, oh my god, that is going to be big. Do you hear me? Big. Who's gathering charcoal there? Is that to bring it over to the trade? No. Where are you going, sir? Oh, right. Our, oh, I forgot all about it. Our extra smithy that we made nails at. <gasps> all right, let's make some more. Let's make some more big deals. 250 and metal parts. Anybody want to buy nails? Let's do 250 nails. Very rare that they'll buy that. It's mostly going to be clothes, shoes, sunflower oil. Those are probably be going to be the big things that we make money on. So that's good. Uh, let's see. I'm going to actually make sure we are exporting clothes. Yep, we are. 7.4 out of 40. Let's put shoes in here, even though we don't have them yet. Oh, we can't. Of course. All right, very good. Well, the economy should be good in the next couple episodes, so long as we get some good trade. We are already starting to make all the sunflower oil in the world. We've got plenty in storage uh, over here, somewhere. Uh, here, yes, 13.3 and 1.8, so that's still a lot more that we can make in the coming years. All right, everyone, that's it for today's episode of Austria. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for showing your support and clicking the tab of that like button on the way out and uh, just showing your love. You all take care, and I'll see you soon. Thanks as always, and goodbye.